What's up guys, DTMB Wrestling Talk. Charlotte Flair broke two WWE history records. And I'll tell you why I think she's technically not broke one yet. But anyways, the one that she the first one that I'm gonna get into is she is now officially on her eighth title reign. Four of those title reigns were on Raw. Two of those title reigns are on SmackDown. One in NXT, and one was the Divas Championship. To me, the NXT Championship should not count in this reign. So she's technically held seven titles in the WWE. And the reason I say this for is because Trish Stratus is the person that has also held eight titles. But uh, her one title that she won doesn't count. And there was no such thing as NXT back in when Trish Stratus started. So Trish Stratus is, is seven women's championships. And one time she won the hardcore championship. So technically I think if you go by titles won within the main company. And the main brands. They're tied still at seven and seven. Uh, but you know. Or maybe it's just. However you want to look at it, guys. So the next win for Charlotte will for sure put her as number one. But as of right now, I kind of consider him still tied. And also by Charlotte's win at SummerSlam makes her the most winningest woman in pay-per-view history. She's won 24 matches at pay-per-views since coming to the main roster. 24 pay-per-view matches. That's amazing. She's amazing. And there's a chance that she's going to possibly main event WrestleMania with Ronda Rousey this year. How awesome would that be for the women's division? Comment below and tell me what you think. Follow me on Facebook. Link below to give away every single month. If you want to subscribe to my P.O. box, that's in the description below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.